Bong, bong, bong. Another one by accident. Crypto Frog back in the house, talking about the walking dead of crypto that continues to stink up this corner of the blockchain universe. You may know it. Its name is Binance. If you watch my videos, you are probably well versed in all things Binance, but the number of dead coins they list is actually atrocious. Due diligence, maybe not. CZ's strong suit. Loom Network is the latest Binance listed coin to be sleeping with the fishes. Loom Network is slash was an Ethereum token that powers a network of delegated proof of stake side chains, a system that Loom dubs or dubbed EOS on Ethereum. Here is what we know they have shut the Telegram group. Reddit is tumbleweed the core team have up sticks and said see you later alligator and the blog is memory hold this shitcoin is listed on pretty much the full laundry list of top tier exchanges including finance and coinbase and despite being dead still has a market cap of over 15.2 million us dollarinos don't you just love crypto? The last Medium blog post was from February 21st, a two-minute read, Loom Network Company Update. It basically announces that the CEO, a chap by the name of Matthew Campbell, had stepped down and Vadim Makagon had taken over since then. No further updates. Crickets. With the cheesy green alien character or zombie, whatever you want to call it, you gotta wonder why it never really took off. This company here, Stake Capital, you can find them on Twitter. They offer validation services for leading POS networks. They tweeted at the end of March that they were moving out from the Loom network infrastructure and into Matic network. I quote... You can see the alert emoji. Loom project is dead. CEO, CTO, and almost all key people have left Loom. No one anymore to answer questions. Another tweet here says that Bad Bit Games is migrating from Loom to Matic. That tweet coming just within the past 24 hours or so. Going back to the blog, and it's funny to think that the last thing in the blog post says, thank you for being here. Things may be getting shaken up a bit, but make no mistake, we're the same hardworking, code-slinging, meme-loving Loom Network that you've been following over the years. A massive thanks to you and the whole Loom University community. Here's to a future filled with amazing things. Yeah. Earlier in the same blog post, they admit that recently they've been working on a couple of new projects, one targeting the healthcare industry and one targeting the travel industry. It says we'll be posting details about these projects in the near future. Yeah. Probably under a new website. The chart on coin market cap says it all. R E K T. Ret. Unbelievably or believably, Loom had a market cap of over 400 million US dollars just two years ago. Loom is still listed on Binance. BTC pair, 24 hour volume, over 20 Bitcoin. This seems to have happened fairly recently with Loom, so I'll give Binance the benefit of the doubt. But if there's any doubt that Binance keep projects on their exchange just for the volume, aka the fees, Bitcoin Diamond is a case in point. The roadmap of that project promised that by the beginning of 2020, Bitcoin Diamond should surpass Bitcoin in terms of its use cases. Bitcoin Diamond on the Bitcoin pairing uh, has done over 13 Bitcoin 
volume in the past 24 hours and is also up over the last 24 hours, almost 4%. Another curious case is Luna, which is completely, no question, absolutely dead. D-O-A. No social media updates, no communication on Discord or Telegram. Its Twitter is locked. It was supposed to be the first decentralised encyclopedia on Ethereum, where you get tokens for sharing and peer-reviewing information. Despite having its tweets protected, it has slightly under 29,000 followers. The homepage is still there, but it looks like a bare shell of how it used to look. And I cannot find a GitHub anywhere, probably because they're not publishing any code. Storm, it is a typhoon of colossal proportions of anti-gravy, the last GitHub commit was over three months ago. Happy models. Storm is still listed on Binance. Over 8 Bitcoin volume in the past 24 hours. Twitter is still active. Storm play earn anywhere, anytime from any device. Perhaps it doesn't deserve to be uh, lumped in with the other projects here, but still hardly setting the world on fire. Nucleus Vision. Ncash. Now, if you thought Storm was a bit of a shaky entry, there's zero doubt that Encash is a shiny cat turd of epic proportions. Not a Bitcoin pairing here, but it has an F pairing. It has a market cap of $1.8 million, which is about $1.8 million too much. You can see the past 24 hours volume, 178 F. It's actually up 0.85% uh, in the last 24 hours. Oh, nice shopping mall. This is Nucleus Vision's home page. This shitcoin declares itself to be an Internet of Things and blockchain based identification system using NCash cryptocurrency enabling transactions across the retail ecosystem. The last blog update was a few weeks ago, the first in a couple of months. You'll be pleased to know that they've been busy. Along with brick and mortar stores, Nucleus Vision is entering and having serious discussions with shopping malls and gas stations. I, for one, cannot wait for the epic pump that's going to come when that gas station in Mumbai or somewhere starts taking NCash. You are looking at the GitHub for NCash and it is probably, no, almost certainly the sorriest excuse of a GitHub for any project I have ever seen in the history of cryptocurrency. Not a single line of code published in almost 500 days. And look at it, really. What more can you say? What an absolute scam shitcoin. Perhaps even more embarrassing is that their Twitter has over 57,000 followers and the comments are a variety of self-delusion, cope mechanisms and people waking up to the scamage. It's actually quite interesting reading through the replies on big scam projects like this. You know it's good when some replies were hidden by the tweet author. It's actually quite interesting reading through the replies on these big scam coin projects if you have an hour to kill good, clean crypto fun. In conclusion, Binance, stop listing shitcoin casino scam projects like all the ones I have been discussing. Just delist them. Do your DD, due diligence, and stop exposing harmful projects to your customers. I don't buy the argument that some projects say when they say, look, our GitHubs aren't open source. The most prominent cryptocurrency slash tokens have their code base open source so people can track their development. If it's all closed up, what you gotta hide? Also, Binance, start listing some decent projects and I might start using you again. Might. What is the biggest dead coin still listed on major exchanges? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe, thumbs up and share. Really, really appreciated. Follow me on Twitter too, CryptoFrog202. Until we meet again, stack the chat. Peace.